However, uh, says anyone played City Skylines? I have. For it today in a deep sale. Been watching some videos on it. Looks potentially highly addictive for me. Yeah, no, go for it, Hava. City Skylines is one of the best city builders I have ever played. Do you. Do you like traffic engineering? <laughs> That's a weird question to ask anybody, but if you like traffic engineering, you would love City Skylines. <laughs> Do I recommend mods or extension expansions? I have not played mods. Maybe some expansions. <coughs> uh, I've looked online. I haven't played the expansions either. But there are a number of DLCs that people say improve the game quite a lot, which you might want to get those. I played it when it first came out, before there was any DLCs, and I just played it, and then I haven't really uh, gone back to it. How is this? I've been watching Biffus videos and love the traffic... Yes! Welcome, fellow traffic engineer! Welcome to the club, Harbour. <laughs> One of us! One of us! <laughs> Traffic engineering in City Skylines is so interesting! <laughs> because it's like, like the simulation is so robust that you can't just like try weird stuff with your roads to see what happens. And it'll just simulate, it's great. How says he gets sent traffic to Sasta cities and spins a video fix? Oh, that's awesome! What a cool dude! What a cool dude who is also a traffic engineer. <laughs> he fixes other people's cities. <laughs> that's great! Yeah, like... And I guess, like, watching his videos, you can tell that... If you, if you can figure it out, like, there's always an answer, right? I mean, even though the traffic in City Skyline is actually quite complicated to figure out. But if you know what you're doing, like, if every city can be solved in terms of traffic. You just have to know what you're doing. <laughs> hey, wackiness. In fact, Biffa might be getting a better deal, because city skylines, like building up the city, is almost less interesting than solving the problems, solving the traffic problems that comes later. So Biffa's like skipping the boring bit <laughs> and just getting straight to the puzzle solving. Wait, wackiness says, do you know the chromie fight you're supposed to lose? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still coughing. You're supposed to lose, and she turns into a dragon, but you're so good you didn't need to restart. Wait a minute. You're supposed to lose? But wackiness, how would you lose? You have so many chromies. <laughs> like, you just keep copying yourself. <laughs> you're supposed to lose? Okay, what- wait. What happens when she turns into a dragon, wackiness? Because I have no idea. Oh, the arrow kills you, okay. I survived the arrow with a few hit points. How is this indeed? I was hoping there was something out there like a daily in the game where you get to fix certain setups. That would be interesting, however. Maybe people should, like, submit, deliberately submit bad cities as, like, uh, as mods for other people to try to fix. <laughs> but wackiness, the thing is, the arrow doesn't do 30 damage. The arrow doesn't actually kill her. It only does 25 damage.
Well, recognize now that you say that, maybe I'll go back and play it in my own time. Like, deliberately be bad with Chromie. Because I want to see what happens when she turns into a dragon. Well, she would turn into Crow normal, right? Because she, because she is a dragon. They did design the. They did design it so that you can't beat it, though, right? Because I beat it. I mean, her hero power. It's already quite powerful because, like, what it, it copies any buffs you play on other minions. Like, that's already quite powerful. I did get lucky, though. I guess, like, I got like the uh, life steal, and then I buffed the life steal, and then just kept healing back. Yeah, I also think I I got really lucky with the draws. Powerful buffs early on. Divine Shield is really strong. says, isn't diagonal only 5 wide instead of normal 6? Good question. <laughs> That's always a, a great question. <laughs> the answer is I don't even know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, it's 6. I, I had already I already put down one block at the edge, so I only had to fill in the 5. Yeah, no, it's 6 blocks. But it has happened before, Harper, so that's always a good question to ask me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I was only placing 5, but that's because I had 1. Wakina says, does it feel like they phoned it in for this adventure? Seems far too easy, having basically 3 ship battles seems lazy to me. Yeah, the heroics bit, I'm a little bit disappointed by wackiness. <coughs> like, the... I don't think it's, you know, too bad because it's it's hard designing one-on-one -on -one battles and and to be honest like the one-on-one -on -one battles they're very interesting it's just they're not very long wackiness you know what i mean like, like the decks are interesting the hero powers are interesting and like each battle individually is quite interesting it's just a little bit of a shame that there's so little content there's only like an hour's worth of content each week and as you say, the heroic mode, you have to bring your own deck, which is, you know, far, far less interesting. How is this Blizzard has lost their mojo in all franchises, it seems? Well, we'll see. I mean, they, they are working on Diablo 4, and they were working on Diablo 4 for a while before they announced it. It might just be that all the development stuff is on unreleased games, however. Because they're hiring more people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree, Wacky. The, the airship stuff is uh, a bit dubious. But you know, as as boss fights, 
there's fewer boss fights, but I think they're more interesting than, say, previous solo adventures. So, I mean, yeah, they, like, they kind of swapped quantity for quality. I mean, I'd say they're, they're not getting any better, but they're not getting any worse either, as far as I can tell. No, I wouldn't call it phoning it in. Because <laughs> they, they, they do put in, you know, the effort. They're just not putting in more effort than last time. And in a way, you know, you can kind of understand people not being too satisfied with that because people kind of expect more each time. Right, like you, you expect every sequel to be better than the last one. <laughs> Unless it's Assassin's Creed or Madden or whatever. <laughs> Like Pokemon? <laughs> you know, like they keep releasing more and more Pokemon games. But are the new ones better than the old ones? I'm not sure. Wakina says, I'm so used to laying down and watching three hours of you doing the adventure. Yeah, yeah, so far you've been in less than an hour. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I hear you. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. They definitely swapped quantity for quality, and I'm not sure that's a good idea. Right, maybe, maybe quantity is good. Maybe more is better. What's the saying? Sometimes quantity has a quality all of its own. Who said that? I don't remember. Uh, that's the wrong place. That should be there and there. Uh, what's going on? We don't need flowers. Tracks. How do I put this? That one. That one. Nope. Turn that way. Three, four, five, six. I'm not gonna count this out loud. I'm gonna cough way too much if I try to do that. you plan to play City Skylines anytime soon, Hava? I kinda wanna see what you design. <laughs> Can you like, I don't know, post screenshots? Maybe I should play it again. Maybe I should like, just buy with the good expansions and play it again. Oh, I need a uh, slabs. How <laughs> says my first design will be highly symmetrical? Well, I mean the. Uh, <laughs> The simulation doesn't have any sense of style, so you can make it as beautiful or as ugly as you like. I might just follow up for Noob's video. No! No, Hava, don't! And you need to get in trouble, and then try to fight your way out of the hole you dug yourself into. <laughs> That's the fun part. <laughs> the fun part is, is like, build yourself into a trap. 
<laughs> and then have to fix it afterwards. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess ten, and then one, two, three. Why can't this say it's half a while? You and I are long time follow followers. <laughs> yeah, no, Hava. Hava is a. Uh... A man with many identities. <laughs> An international secret agent. Hava. Pseudonym. Hava says true, Simon, but I like the idea of min-maxing with symmetry. Hmm. Wonder if well, I'm, I, I'm so interested in urban design and city planning, however. I want to see how you, how it ends up when you do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wakina says, am I getting Cyberpunk 2077? Uh, my computer will most likely not run Cyberpunk 2077. It might have to wait for a hardware upgrade on my side, Wackiness. Which, I mean, this thing is so robust <laughs> that it's, it's not going to happen anytime soon. The ThinkPad. What they say about ThinkPads are tr is true. They are robust. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Leave that. I guess I should power up the hill. Not 
sure what happens there. 